everyone. Welcome to Saturday Morning Yoga with me, Jamie. It's time to gather everyone there together at home and enjoy some family yoga time. Now we've got a challenging yoga adventure today. Will we make it? Will we find the treasure before the pirates do? We will have help and let's hope those monkeys aren't too naughty. It's time to crack on and enjoy our adventure. Oh, I can hear the pirates. They're coming now. Let's get started. everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Three. Namaste. There. Now let's have a look through our cosmonoculars and find out who we're meeting today. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're spinning around and around. The colours, the shapes. It's amazing. Can you see the picture? Yes. It's a dolphin! It's Popcorn the dolphin! Oh, what's Popcorn doing? She's doing yoga. She's doing washing machine pose. Oh, we're going off to see our old friend Popcorn the dolphin. How exciting! That means we're going to the ocean. Oh, who's this at the window? It's Nelson the pigeon. Now, from your crossed legs, fold forwards and put your hands forwards. Take one leg all the way back behind you and leave your crossed leg in front. Nelson lifts his chest as he says, Goo, 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 goo. He's tapping on the window. He wants to tell us something. Let's swap over now, crossing our legs again, but this time put your other leg in front. Fold forwards onto your hands and stretch your other leg back behind you. He coos again. Goo, 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 goo. He folds forwards to give us a special message. <gasps> Thanks, Nelson. We sit up very tall and we open it up. Bending your knees, open up the message. <gasps> oh, wow, everyone. It's a treasure map of Treasure Island. And there's a message. Help me find the treasure before the pirates do. I need your help. It's very important that we get to it soon. Remember, stay calm, keep breathing and think positive. Ah, oh, that's our popcorn giving us our special, special message. Right, standing up everyone. There's no time to lose. We're going to help Popcorn the Dolphin find the treasure before the pirates do. We salute and we say, aye aye, Captain. Aye aye, Captain! We pack a backpack with some see-in-the-dark cosmonoculars reaching over to pat our backs and a swimsuit in case we have to go in the water. Well done, everyone! And we head to the docks where we pick up our pirate ship, which is in fact called the Lucky Squid. Sitting on your bottoms, bend your knees, hands behind you. Lift up one foot. Lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up two hands. We're in boat pose. Now let's make it into a ship by lifting up the mast. Well done, everyone. Oh, the lucky squid is Popcorn's pirate ship and we're going to set sail. Woohoo! Now let's look through our telescope. We lie down on our backs, take our arms wide and we stretch one leg long and one leg up in the air like a telescope. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Through our telescope, we can see another ship. Coming up to sit, back in your boat pose, everyone. Lift up one foot, lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up no hands. This one's got a big mast as well. And on it is a big black flag with a white skull and two white crossbones. It's pirates and they're so close we can even see the pirate standing up. 
He's only got one leg, see if you can balance. And he's only got one eye as well. He's got a funny old face and he's got a hook for a finger. Oh my goodness me! And he's coming towards us very, very fast. Right, everyone, we need to heave ho the sails down. Jump your feet wide, reach up high and heave ho the sails. Ready? Heave ho! Heave ho! Heave ho! It's no good. They're getting closer. We're going to have to walk the plank. Here we go, everyone. Coming round to the back, we take big, brave steps on the plank, balancing very carefully, one foot in front of the other. And when we get to the end, we have to stretch up. We think positive, we stay calm, and we keep breathing. Let's dive in the water. One, two, three. Splooosh! Coming all the way down to your knees, everybody. We swim up, swimming up, lifting our arms as we breathe in and lowering them down as we breathe out. At the surface of the water is our friend, Popcorn the Dolphin. She's come to rescue us. That's what Thinking Positive does. Coming up high onto your knees, she claps her flippers together. Well done, Cosmic Kids. You did it. Now, I'm going to get you as close to Treasure Island as I can. You're going to have to stay calm, keep breathing and think positive. And you need to find Smuggler's Cave because that's where the treasure is. I'll be waiting for you. Come on. We crisscross our fingers, come down to our elbows, and we swim with popcorn, diving backwards and forwards through the waves, making our dolphin clicky noises. <coughs> popcorn gets us as close to Treasure Island as she can. She can't come on land with us as she's a dolphin, so we're on our own. We stand up and we take big steps across the sand dunes, stepping a big step. And back, and the other way. Big step. And we come to the edge of the jungle, which is full of palm trees. Coming up to stand, bring one foot on top of the other, your hands together at your heart, and grow your palm tree up very tall. Oh, what an amazing palm tree. I wonder if I can blow you down. You stay tall and strong and I'll have a go. Ready? Doopy doopy doo. -do -do. <sighs> I can't. You're too strong. Let's try the other side. Bringing your other foot on top now. Your hands together. Grow your palm tree up nice and tall and open your big palm branches. Beautiful, everybody. Jumping around in the palm trees are the monkeys. Crouching all the way down, they jump around, saying, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh, ah, ah. And again, one, two, three. Ooh, ah, ah. We ask the monkeys if they'll warn us if the pirates are coming by giving us a secret call. The call is banana pants. Let's practice with a big monkey jump calling banana pants. Ready? One, two, three, banana pants! Well done, everyone. Now, off to find the treasure. We need to cross the lagoon and pass beneath the waterfall. Here's a little rowing boat. Sitting on your bottoms, lift up one foot. Lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up no hands. Well done. We row our boat across the lagoon. Legs out long, holding onto your foot for an oar. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ring, 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 ring. That's the telephone. Let's answer it. Hello. Oh, hi, Popcorn. Are we calm and are we breathing? Yes, I think we are. We're calm, we're breathing. Thanks, Popcorn. Bye. We row with the other oar. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ring, 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 ring. Let's answer the other telephone now. Hello. Oh, hi, Popcorn. Are we thinking positive? Yes, Popcorn. 
Yes, we are thinking positive. Happy, happy thoughts, yes. Thanks, Popcorn. Bye. We put the phone down and we've come to a very big waterfall. Quick, everyone, bring your knees up, huddle up tight, lift your toes and let's duck our heads down. Quick, eek. <gasps> Phew, well done. We've come to a dark, drippy, slippy cave. Jump your feet wide, bring your hands above your head into your cave pose. It's so dark in here, we need to put on our see in the dark cosmonoculars. We reach in our backpacks for them and we put them on, thumbs and fingers together. Have a look through. Wow, it's a swamp. And look, we can see some stepping stones to cross. Uh-oh. It's also full of snakes. It's a snake infested swamp. And they seem quite interested in us lying down on your bellies. Put your hands beneath your shoulders and lift your shoulders up, doing a big hissy snake face. We have an idea. Let's do a nice, calm, meditative om and make them all go sleepy. Coming up to sit with your legs crossed, bring your hands onto your knees and let's do a lovely om. Breathing in. Om. We open our eyes and we see all of the snakes have become hypnotised by our om. Coming into your snake pose again, everyone. Now it's our chance to cross over the stepping stones. We stand up and we tiptoe across. Ready? Look. We've come to a mound in the sand and up above us is a big light beaming through a hole in the ceiling of the cave. There's a spade. Could this be where the treasure is buried? Only one way to find out. Let's dig. We take the spade, crisscrossing our fingers behind our back and we fold forwards to dig. Ready? One, two, three, dig! And all the way up again. And again, one, Two, three, dig! And look, down there, we can see it. The treasure chest, sitting on your bottoms, joining the soles of your feet together, holding onto your feet and folding all the way forwards, like a treasure chest. But we can hear something outside the cave. It's the monkeys doing their special call of banana pants. Coming into your monkey pose. Ready? One, two, three. Banana pants! That must mean the pirates are coming. Quick, everyone, we're going to have to go. We take hold of the treasure chest, lifting it all the way up and putting it into our backpack. And from the hole above us, a rope falls down. We wrap our bodies around it, wrapping our leg around and then wrapping our arms around and we climb up the rope. We switch sides, crossing our other leg around the rope and our other arm around and we climb up a little bit higher. We've done it and we can hear the snakes below hissing at the pirates. Thanks, snakes! Look, the monkeys have come to help us get away. They show us how to swing through the trees. We reach and swing. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. This is fun! We swing all the way back to the beach where our friend Popcorn the Dolphin is waiting for us. We hop onto her back, coming down to our knees, crisscross your fingers and down onto your elbows. Well done, Cosmic Kids! You've done it! Now, let's get away! And we start to dive through the waves. After that amazing adventure, we're quite happy to be carried on Popcorn's back. So we lie ourselves all the way down, resting ourselves. What an amazing adventure. We managed to get to the treasure before the pirates did. And we can use that treasure to do some amazing good things. 
like protecting the wildlife on the islands, looking after the ocean. So much good can come from it. And we're so glad we managed to get there before the pirates did. We feel very proud of ourselves. How brave we were in the dark, using our OM to help those snakes feel all settled. And now it's time for us to wake up. So we wiggle our fingers and our toes. We give our knees a hug and we roll over onto our sides. We come up to sit with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. That was a great pirate adventure. I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. That was brilliant. Well done, you. Now we're going to get the wriggles out. We're going to use some energy with a really exciting game of super yoga. In super yoga, you copy the moves as they come down on the screen and you score points for doing the poses. And at the end, you get a lovely relaxation where all the goodness of the points goes into your body. I hope you love it. Super yoga.
You were great. Well done, you. Now we have some yoga poses in the Yoga Pose universe for you to learn. It's great to become a master of these poses because when you come to do the adventures, you'll be amazing. I hope you love it. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Tree pose. Standing nice and tall, we bring one foot on top of the other using our heel. Our knee turns out to the side. We bring our hands together at our hearts and we grow our branches up nice and tall, stretching as high as we can. Wow, well done everyone. Now tree pose is really good for stretching our sides, practicing our balance and for strengthening our back and our legs. Well done. Now let's see if we can do it on the other side. Lowering our arms all the way down, we switch our feet so the other heel's on top. We bring our hands together, we grow our arms up, our branches nice and tall. Now I wonder how strong you trees are. I'm going to do the tree test. You stay tall and strong and I'm going to come and blow you down. Let's see, here we go. Doopy doopy doo. -doo, -doo, -doo. <sighs> Strong trees, you're amazing, just as strong as real trees. Oh, whoops a daisy. Oh, even the real trees have to practice sometimes. Tree pose. Eagle pose. Bringing our feet together, we bend our knees. Now see if we can lift up one of your feet, or oh, try not to wobble, and cross your leg over the other, using your toes to balance on the floor next to your foot. Now take your arms nice and wide and scissor your arms. Wave with your underneath arm and twizzle your arms round each other, sitting down a little bit further, like you're a proud eagle sitting in your nest. Very good. Now, eagle pose is brilliant for getting better at balancing and concentrating, and it gives you a healthy boost of fresh oxygen when you release from it. Let's release now. Wow! Oh, lovely. Now, let's try it on the other side. We cross, we bend our knees, and we cross the other leg over, coming down onto our toes to balance. Arms come wide. We scissor our arms, waving with our underneath arm, twizzling it round, and bending our knees. Now, we're gonna release all together. After three, ready? One, two, three. Wow! Very good, everyone. Oh, look. It's a baby eagle. Welcome to the world. Eagle pose. Hero pose. Coming down to kneel. We take our feet wide with our hands in front to support us. Now we wiggle our bottom down in between our ankles, keeping our toes pointing backwards. We crisscross our fingers in front of us, turn them inside out and raise them up above our heads, sitting like proper heroes. Now, if that's a bit ouchy on your knees, you can change it. You can bring your hands forward, lift your bottom up, scoot your feet back together and sit back on your heels. Yes. Crisscross those fingers again, turn them inside out and lift them up above your head. Well done, everyone. Now, hero pose is very good for stretching your legs, your thighs and your ankles and feet. It's wonderful. 
and it also makes you feel like a proper hero. Oh, it's working! Hero Pose. Well done, everyone. That was wonderful. Now we have a Zen Den, and it's called Getting Wanty. It's about that feeling that you sometimes get when you walk into a store or a shop and you think, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, and it can take over and make you really, really angry. It's about noticing those feelings and settling them down. Let's see what happens. Zen. Hello everyone, welcome to the Cosmic Kids Zen Den, your place to feel calm and relaxed and to help our minds stay happy and healthy. First, let's get comfy. Sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed, we bring our hands to our knees and take a big deep breath. That's better. Now let's get the Zen Den ready so we can really enjoy it. We need music. Let's rub our ears and make the sounds appear. Well done everyone, that's done it. Now let's pick some that help us feel just right. The sound of a forest. A rainbow. The wind in the trees. Perfect. Now for the smell. Let's wiggle our noses. Oh, yes, we did it. Brilliant work, everyone. What have we got here? Hmm. Skunk smell. Swimming pool. Hmm. Oh, yes. Let's smell the rose. Ah, yes. That's such a pretty smell. Today, we're going to talk about something that happens to all of us sometimes. I call it getting wanty. Have you ever noticed when you're in a shop or a store, how you look around and you see something that you want? Maybe you're in a toy shop and you spot something on a shelf and it's something you like the look of and a little pop goes off somewhere inside you, making you really want that thing. You reach for it, take hold of it, look at it closely, maybe carry it around for a while, and then you want the item even more. Now you take it to the person you are with, perhaps your mum or dad or a grandparent, and you ask them if you can have it. They look at it and decide that today the answer is no. Oh, when this happens, you feel something, don't you? Can you notice that feeling? You may feel disappointed, sad, or even angry because of this. You want this thing so much, but you can't have it. Maybe you want it even more now that you've been told you can't have it. You might think it's unfair that they are being mean for saying no to you. That is the wanty feeling getting bigger. At this point, you have a choice. Hold out your hand and let's press the freeze button on time to look at the options. Number one, the wanty feeling is so strong, you start to shout, stomp your feet in anger, cry, beg and get swept up in the nasty wanty feeling. You have a tantrum. Or, number two, you spot that wanty feeling. You notice how it's drawing you in and making you feel hurt and upset 
because you can't have the thing you want. But no, you're not going to let that wanty feeling take over and ruin your day. You don't want a tantrum. It doesn't feel good. And it makes the people you love feel a bit upset when you do. So you breathe long, deep breaths and get back to feeling happy again. You can put the item back and forget about it. No tantrum needed. Now unfreeze the time button. What choice would you make? Isn't it funny how getting wanty can make us feel horrid? We get attached to stuff when we really don't need to. It is up to you to choose how to be. Ask yourself, is it worth becoming so upset? Do I want to feel this way? Do I feel good having a tantrum? It might take time to get the hang of this, but next time you see something you really, really want, see if you can do it. See if you can spot that wanty feeling. Freeze time for a moment, take a deep breath and choose to save yourself from the tantrum. I hope that helps you calm the wanty storm inside you next time the clouds come over. Keep up the practice to become a true Cosmic Kids Zen Den Master. Bye bye!